200,000 people in our 26 counties that are food insecure. That's one in every six adults, one in every four children that are food insecure, may not know where their next meal is coming from. Uncertainty around something many of us take for granted, healthy and affordable food. So our low income, low access population is huge. It's probably one of the largest in the states. Low income and low access. They're terms the USDA is using to determine areas that are most prone to food insecurity. In their latest research, they found that 39 million people in the U.S. lived in a low income or low accessibility area in a 1 in 10 mile area. In addition, the number of people who lived in a low income area was reduced by 2 percent from 2015 to 2019. And the number of large grocery stores rose from 2010 to 2019. Not having access to healthy and affordable food can um, make it difficult for some households or individuals to achieve food security and a healthy diet because the nearest grocery store to them may be further away. Which is why local nonprofits like the East Texas Food Bank are trying to close the gap where accessibility to food is lacking. A food pantry or um, a farmer's market or a community garden um, is definitely important to, to know. Because it is giving people more access to healthy and affordable food that they may not have access to. In rural areas, the options are more limited. Uh, convenience stores, small uh, mom and pop stores, um, dollar stores, or uh, even stores with, um, that are attached to a gas station, the food marts. Madura Maya from UT Tyler says having a proper representation of the food rainbow on our plates can help us avoid health problems down the road. Children, it supports optimal growth, but as adults, we are able to maintain our health. We are able to um, prevent certain diseases, and um, it, it really promotes optimal health. And it's mobile food distributions like the ones happening behind me that are helping close the gap between low income and low accessibility areas here in East Texas. Yeah, I can, I can take, take this to people that don't have vehicles and stuff to get around. I can take it to them and, and, and bless them with it. What factors uh, made you come to the East Texas Food Bank three years ago? Money. <laughs> you know, the economy going up and getting harder and harder with the increase of the economy, period. It's, 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 a, it's a challenging program for us to meet the needs for, but it really is surgical in meeting the needs for these communities.